Hey, it's Mr. Bass, and guess what? My fish tools subscription came in today from Jewel Baits. That's right, here it is. Fish Tools, which is a premium fishing tackle subscription service from Jewel Baits. And I really like Jewel Baits. Uh, Jewel Baits have been around for a long time. I consider them more of a jig company more than anything else. They do make other products, but it just seems to me like they dominate in the jig, in the jigosphere, and their jigs are awesome. They're really, really, really great. So let's see what they sent me this month. Uh, they give you this giant box. I've never quite figured out. I mean, I guess one nice thing about it is if they had a really big, awkward thing, like one time they sent a big uh, lure knocker in, in, in the box, you know. Uh, it's a lot bigger box. It, they don't really have more baits than, say, the Mystery Tackle boxes or the other products out there. They just give you a really big box for some reason. It always has, uh, they don't do stickers. I don't think I've ever seen a sticker. Uh, but on my birthday, they did send me this shirt, which is kind of cool. Um, they do give you just a piece of paper that they say, here's your instruction manual. And they show you the six products. Look at that. They have a 25% off code. Uh, I don't know what the number seven is with this fishing uh, rod and reel. What's that say? Finesse Jig Rod. Oh, a, the rod of the month, the Finesse Jig Rod. This rod is the perfect pair for the products in this month's box. Get your very own Virtus rod for 25% off at jewelbait.com if you use that same code. So, not bad. Let's uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. Here it is, and I gotta say, their football jigs are excellent. They have several different types. This one, of course, is the heavy cover finesse football jig. And uh, you know, I think about it, heavy cover finesse. Well, yeah, you should be able to throw a finesse football jig into heavy cover. Why not? I'm going to actually read to you what they say about it. It excels when fish slowly dragged on the bottom, works really well around gravel and small chunk rock, and even fished around the back of docks. Pair it up with the Junior Versacraw, and you have a match made in heaven. I wonder if they got the Versacraw in here this month. Nope, they don't. All of their football jigs have a flat bottom, and they sit, you know, they sit on the bottom really very well, upright like so. They have nice weed guards. They have, uh, their skirt material is silicone. It's fine. It's great. It's never, I've never really had any problem with their jig skirt material at all. They're not hand tied. They have a rubber band around them. I've also never really had a problem with that. A couple of things that I like about their jigs. One is it comes with a rattle band on it. You can put two rattles on your jig. I fish dirty water quite a bit and like to have rattles on my jigs. And uh, this bait keeper doesn't look like much, but it actually holds your soft plastic on really well. And then the bend of the hook is what they call an O'Shaughnessy bend hook. And uh, you'll get it in the roof of the mouth every single time. Very, very nice football head. Very nice jig. The color of this is called, looks like green gore to me, but let me look here. Green pumpkin, green flash. That's a two pack. Okay. Their pro shaky heads are my favorite shaky head. The only other one that I really like to use a lot is one by owner, but uh, one eighth ounce is really about the lightest I'm going to go with a shaky head. When I get any lighter than that, I'm usually going to switch to a Ned rig. But uh, I really, really like their pro shaky head jig heads. They work really well. And to tell you the truth, Stephen Browning, the professional major league fishing fisherman, got me on these. I was co-angler with him out at Table Rock Lake, and he was fishing a big Z-Man shaky head worm with these pro shaky heads. And he was just slaying them. And he gave me a couple. 
And ever since, I've really, really enjoyed these. Okay, this is another one of their jigs that is starting to become one of my favorites. Until I started getting the Fish Tools box, even though I fished with a lot of jewel jigs, the Magnum Casting Jig is not one that I have tried. And since then, I've thrown it quite a bit, and I really, really do like it. This is a 7 16 ounce uh, brown jig. And they, they claim that this is probably their most versatile jig out there. It says here you can flip it in the bushes, drag it in brush piles, fish it all around rocks and bluffs. This is your do-it-all jig, and it's great to have it tied on all the time. Pair it up with a Junior Versacraw if you want to have more action, or with a Chunk Style Trailer if you don't want any action. Or, Yeah, great jig. Let me show you up close what it looks like. So here is the Magnum Casting Jig. This is the brown color, like I said. This is living rubber, this skirt. Um, at least that's what it feels like. Uh, very, very nice. Um, I like the red eyes that they have on this jig head. And if you notice, the line tie is very prominent. Uh, this may not be something that you uh, fish through the grass, but uh, if you're flipping, pitching, throwing it in brush, anything like that, it's going to do quite well. It also has the collar on it for the rattles. Same big old. O'Shaughnessy hook, same hook keeper, similar weed guard. So that's the Magnum casting jig. Speak of the devil, I mentioned Stephen Browning, and he's actually on the package of this uh, Magnum casting jig. <laughs> he's a very nice guy. In fact, when I went fishing with him, he kind of surprised me because uh, he was very friendly, which was nice. I mean, a lot of times you'll run into nice guys. But before we took off from the ramp, he uh, he actually wanted to have a prayer together. So we, we had a prayer, you know, to kind of start the day. That was unique. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, next is an underspin bait. The classic Spinex. Three eighths of an ounce, and I'll be honest, I've never tried their underspins. That's one I have not tried. It's made in the USA, track straight at any speed, quality components, lifelike action. Uh, looks like a very nice um, underspin, and this is another thing that I like about them. You know, I say this about every box that I subscribe to. Give me baits that I can use the time of year you're sending me the box. And uh, don't send me a wintertime lure, for example, in the middle of the summer or vice versa. Don't send me a topwater frog in the middle of the winter, you know, that kind of thing. Well, an underspin is a classic, perfect bait for wintertime cold water fishing. And uh, interesting shape to the head there, isn't it? Line ties on here, so you could literally vertically, vertically jig this. Uh, you can swim it as well. The tips that I that are on their deal here, I think, were really good for the spin X underspin. An underspin is a very important bait to have tied on this time of year. It really excels when it is slow rolled on the bottom. Fish it in ditches and drains in the middle of coves. One of two trailers is most effective with it: either a paddle tail swim bait like a Kitek or a straight tail like a flute. Nice bait. Okay, then they have a three pack of what they call their Jim Shad, which is basically a swim bait head. Uh, you could use this on an Alabama rig. You can fish individual swim baits on this, like Kitex and Divine swim baits and you know any other kind of swim baits out there. They're pretty detailed looking. I mean, look at, they got big lifelike eyes. They got a wire weed guard, which I like. A lot of uh, swim bait heads don't have a we any weed guard at all. Um, the shape of the head really runs well through, you know, on the water. And then the bait keeper on here, there's actually two pieces. So, um, you know, swim baits, uh, they pull off fairly easy. The other thing I like is this is a big enough head that your super glue 
you got a lot of surface there for super glue. Uh, they're going to hold on quite well. So that's a three pack of the gym shads. I think these gym shads are very nice indeed. Quarter ounce for those. Once again, another great cold water bait, the jewel bait scuba spoon. These are one ounce spoons, two pack. Uh, they just work great. And as they say on here, a spoon is really ideal when you get a tough day on the water. So this time of year, you're going to have a lot of tough days. Uh, when the fish start to suspend out deep and it's hard to get them to bite, you can take a spoon, get it right on top of them and drop it down to them, jig it up and down. It does really entice them. And I can attest to this <laughs> down at Table Rock Lake. I throw this a lot, this very spoon. It works great. Uh, jig it up and down, flutter it over the top of deep cedar trees. You'll see those bass up there suspended in the trees and uh, they can't resist this. These also, you can fish these around docks as well. You just have to be careful about the way you do it. Uh, but even though it's a small bite, it's one out, so it's fairly heavy. It falls fairly fast. Anyway, that does it for this month's fish tools box. I really like it. I thought it was a very good box this month. I'll just uh, reiterate really quick. You had the heavy cover finesse football jig, a five bat pack of the pro shaky heads, a three pack of the gym shad swim baits, the underspin spin X, the magnum casting jig, and the scuba spoon. Here's one thing I can tell you for sure. Regardless of all the other subscription boxes out there, Fish Tools is unique. It's one of a kind. There's nothing out there on the market like the Fish Tools box. Good, bad, or indifferent. You might say, well, there ain't nothing on there I like, so fine. But so many of these subscription tackle boxes have the same stuff in them, just different brands. Uh, Fish Tools is a one of a kind, their own unique products. Uh, go check them out. You might really like what they have to offer. I can guarantee you, you won't be sorry trying their jigs. Hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please smash the like button, subscribe to the Mr. Bass channel, hit that notification bell to find out when I'm doing my next live stream. We always have a great time on the live streams. And on the Saturday night live streams, we play the spin to win game on that wheel right there and give away a ton of prizes. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing.